Hello guys, how you doing? Today we're going to go over our song Killer, how we made it, the inspiration, the story, the instruments, how it all went down. And we're going to have the Killer Kiss cocktail as we're doing this, yes, we which are. is right here. Cheers. All right. Cheers, buddy. I like that. So if you want to know how to make this drink, go to the other videos we have. We've got a, a playlist called the Cocktails, which are the hotel cocktails and the Killer Kiss, the ingredients are there. Colin will show you how to make it. And anyway, it's pretty good. Pretty tasty. Let me take a sip. <laughs> oh, God, that's good. You know, I liked, um, I liked in our intro video where, where I said, hey, you're like the, the cocktail king. You're like this. Mm. I like that. <laughs> that was pretty good. Anyway, let's talk about the song. I like it. It's uh, yeah, I like a good drink. So uh, the song, so Killer, you know, it's funny. There's a lot of interesting stories to the whole song and how we got that song to where it is. But uh, I remember one night you came over we were recording some other stuff and you came with uh and said hey, i want you to hear this other stuff that i just did and uh uh that you laid down and we listened to it and it was wicked it was these crazy crazy vocal harmonies mm -hmm. really atmospheric and uh we kind of went mm, there's something there yeah it was a um <clears throat> so there was this contact which is this brand that makes all these synthesizers there um i had this sort of pad going underneath and I had this kind of, I, I recorded three layers of vocals of me going, ah, like this. And then right. I just layered it and layered it and stuck a ton of reverb on it. And then we had this kind of a weird thing going on, this atmospheric thing. And you're like, there's something there. Yeah. And then the cool part is, is that this is what we do, right? So I'll come up with something and then you'll go, okay, well, I need some guitar parts for this. Or the other way around. You right. send me a guitar part and I go, I'll layer something on. But in this case, you came up with this beautiful flowery intro right. sound, which you should play that. Right. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, that was kind of fun. I don't even know where that came from, but it was just kind of you know, just kind of fooling around with with some chords. You know, just something nice. So we, we kind of had this, it wasn't even called Killer before. Like I did some other vo vocals, I think some other lyrics. You know, often I'll just stick something on just to get a vibe, get some some kind of a, just to get, to move the song along, right? You just, it's right. basically like placeholder vocals. Yeah. So I did that and we kind of had something going on. And, and then I sent this to Dave. Dave's not here. He's going to be on some other videos. Um, and Dave's like, hey, I want to come over to your house and we're going to go and do a session. And we sat down at the, at the synthesizer and we came up with two parts that just changed everything. Yeah. And that was, he had a bass uh, synthesizer, which was the jing, 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 jing. And it was yes, very yeah. big. And I'm like, whoa, okay, what is, what's going on here? Yeah. And then he had the top end synth which was da 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 And then you did the guitar part on top of that. Yeah. So in the chorus, you've got that, plus you've got the guitar thing. So then we end up with a song. We hadn't done the bridge yet. We hadn't done the end yet. And now we're like, okay, so what are we going to do with this song? So now we get to the horrible part of trying to write a song of, well, what's this song about? What's it going to be called? What's the theme? You mm -hmm. have to have a story. You got to have something. I mean, unless it's you know a synth dance song where it just kind of. I mean, there's some great songs out there, but some of they don't. They just keep repeating one vocal over and over and over yeah. again, just to, you know, more of a DJ type of thing. But you know, all of our songs have a meaning to them. Yeah, and I remember because you came over, James came over. I think it was a Saturday afternoon early, and he had his little writing book, with his pen. <laughs> got all his notes in there he's got lyrics and ideas and craziness and you name it he's got in there and he basically said okay give me something i know give me anything give me something a kernel something. of give something. Me something for the song give me give, give me some kind of idea of where this is all going to go so i kind of just went okay i just blurted it out i said you know we got a brand 
he kind of told us this, the story about being in Paris. Who was this guy? We can't tell him. No, I'm not going to tell him because, no, because uh, it's, he's in trouble. Yeah, it's deep, uh, deep, deep, but deep he's, he's in Paris. He's at a cafe in Paris. And it's uh, early evening from what he told us. He's inside. It's a small cafe. And there's a few tables outside. And you can see right outside because the windows are wide open as it would be in a, uh, in a cafe in Paris, right? And this, apparently this gorgeous girl sits down. And uh, she has everything. The air of sophistication and beauty and just calmness and confidence and he's sitting there like just shocked by it and knows full well it ain't going anywhere here but just because he's married yeah he's married but in the (laughs) moment he just saw that appreciated it knew full well never ever ever will i see her again but i i remember that story so I think I threw that at you. Yeah, and I'm like, with it. I've been in those situations before where you've seen someone, you're like, man, and I forget who it was, but someone says, hey, that girl's a killer. And that's and that's how the, the killer part um, came about. And mm-hmm. did you say that, that um, she had a hat on, right? Yeah, she had a hat. So when we designed the artwork, we, we illustrated this thing. I remember trying to find the girl that we were going to model this off. Right. And I kept sending Colin all of these magazine uh, images that I'd found. I go, no, 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 definitely not. Maybe not quite. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> he gets it. But then we got it. Yeah, and, and he drew it up. And you drew yeah. it up. Yeah, and here it is, right here. That's pretty brilliant, actually. So yeah, this is the killer girl. So now we have to have some of the rest of the lyrics around it. Were uh, a faint heart, never a true love knows, and. And, and that that's the setup in the pre-chorus, which essentially meant that, you know, you're not going to have the courage to ever go and deal with that because you're, you're, you're married, you're with someone else. So there, it's a really powerful thing there. And um, you'll, have, you'll hear Dave in the chorus going, lock me up until I see you again. Right. And then uh, the, the part before that is, I'm doing time, uh, doing time till I see you again. Yeah. So the, I love the doing time. Like you're in jail. You're like, oh God, I'm never going to see that person again. And you're kind yeah, of you're an emotional ju- uh, jail. Emotional, emotional jail. jail. Yeah. 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 That was pretty pretty good. So then we had basically we kept working on the song and it was over quite a few months. We finally finish off what was supposed to be the bridge. We finish it off. It's Tuesday night, a game Tuesday. We phone up Dave. Dave's on speakerphone after we sent it to him and he listened to it. And he said, yeah, guys, great song. You've got something there. But I don't understand what you're doing in the bridge. You just put the brakes to the entire song. What are you doing? Like, what was that about? So James and I are looking at each other and going, after we hung up, we go, all right. Okay, then. Back to the drawing board. So we did. And, and it, a couple of days later, um, I thought, let's just change the feel a little bit. And that's where we kind of came up with that that little part, which is sort of right, right here. So it's, um, you know... follow the melody of it and uh, I think it was pretty good. Well the thing about the solo is, is that Dave's like just put in like just, I think he said the F word. He's a good F word. Yeah. He's a really oh, deep one. Yeah. And he's like hey you, you, you gotta go and you gotta put this in there and uh, yeah you, you slayed that. So the cool thing is, is that in the chorus of this song you can hear that the keyboard is doing the same notes as the guitar on top so it doubles that up and gives that real impact yeah yeah so that was it's solid and uh i think a song like this i mean it, it's it's just going to be such a blast to play live i really think people will get into it because there's there's a lot going on there's a lot of hooks there's a lot of there's a bit of a change up there on the bridge and i think live i just look forward to extending the uh the choruses at the end just let it rip, just let it flow keep it going keep it going you everybody singing and jumping up and down so uh that's what we're looking for right now. Yeah. Well, a live mode. I can't wait to sing the first bird in the ca- gilded cage. Yes. And I can't remember. Yeah. It comes up. It comes up to what's striking. Well, you did a great job. With the music around yeah. Good cheers. There's one more on the killer kiss. All right. 
Thanks, guys. Nice see you see you again. Yeah, we're a hotel in Vancouver. Thank you very much for listening to our video. Please do subscribe, hit the button down there, so that all of these new videos, when they come out, you'll get them. And uh, we can all be friends. And you can love us, we can love you, and we'll see you at a gig sometime soon. Thank you.